Sometimes it feels like one of the hardest things to do as an artist is to figure out what to paint. And maybe part of it is, you know, having a busy schedule and finding that my painting time is kind of limited to when I'm free in the evenings and all of a sudden it's time to go and I'm not sure what to paint. So what I like to do is when I'm out and about, you know, doing other things throughout my day, I'm always kind of keeping my eyes open for things to paint. The way the light hits a building a certain way, maybe beautiful atmosphere during a certain time of day. I just kind of liked how the light was hitting this truck and I snapped a picture of it. Now it's not a particularly beautiful scene, but I like the light, I like the vehicle, and so I thought, hey, maybe I'll just try to paint this auto parts store on this little street corner here. So here is my attempt at that, and I'm gonna kind of walk you through step by step how I approached painting this scene. So first what I do is I wet both sides of my paper and that way it just lays flat on my surface and then I start to drop in the lighter values of my painting. I want this truck to be the brightest part of the painting but I don't want it to be just the white of the paper so I put a really thin wash of warmth on that truck first and then I go around to the other areas dropping in all of my lightest values when the painting is wet. And at this stage I really don't mind if all the colors run together I think that's great. It's one of the best parts about watercolor and I want that to happen. I'm going to drop in some of these cooler kind of shadow areas on the vehicle. And I know I'm going to come back in and paint my sky over these poles, but I thought while I have the paper wet, maybe I'll just throw in some of these warm, warm colors and maybe some of that will kind of shine through my next wash, which will be my sky anyway. I want to put in some of these soft shadow shapes. I like when the paper's still a little bit wet. I like that the colors are still kind of blending together and I like soft edges so I'm going to add in some of that now. This shadow kind of goes across this bit of grass here and it lands on the side of this building. Again it's fun to play when the paper's wet and that's the only time you can really get these nice soft shapes. So before things dry I want to put in these soft shadows. I'm going to add a little bit of warmth to the top part of this building. And then while this is still wet, I'm going to drop in some of these darker values in the background. Kind of let these colors kind of fuzz together. And then after all this, I'm going to let my painting completely dry. Okay, after my painting has completely dried, I'm going to come in and do my sky wash now. You want the darkest blue to be up towards the top of the sky and then you want it to get lighter as it comes down, generally. And while this background is wet, it's the perfect time to drop in some trees. And I have a, a brush that's loaded pretty heavy with pigment and when I touch that paper I get these beautiful soft shapes in the background. I love that. And I'm kind of cutting around some of these buildings in the background too, just to give the impression that there are some of these buildings that the light's kind of catching. Don't want to get too detailed in the background, just enough information to suggest some buildings, some shadows, and some little highlights. It's amazing what happens when you get darks into your painting. There's this place in the middle of the painting where you just feel like it's not going to work. And sometimes that's true. But I always tell myself, wait to judge your painting until you get the darks in. I like how that our truck is looking. It's really kind of popping out against that background. It has a pretty nice feeling of warmth in this painting, of evening light that I was going for. And a few of these details will hopefully bring the painting together. Going to put a little more texture on the road to bring that forward. And now I'm going to add in some power lines. And finally, I'm going to take a little bit of gouache and I'm going to add just a couple highlights on my vehicle here, bring back some of the light. 
that I may have lost. I didn't really like how these letters turned out. They were close, but I felt like it needed just a little bit more, so I went back with some gouache and I messed with those letters a little bit more. Here is my painting of a car driving by the auto parts store. It was fun to paint. I, I really like the light in the scene and that's what I was trying to capture. Find everyday subjects to paint. Appreciate the atmosphere and the light and paint what you see every day. I hope you enjoyed this look into one of my paintings. If you are interested, I do have a Patreon account and every single month I add a new full length tutorial there and I show step by step how to paint my painting and I show my palette and I talk about every color that I use. So if you're interested, check that out. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you next time.